Um, I actually have two questions. Uh, my first one being, uh, why do we stand up to read scripture at the beginning of every service, or Sunday morning services? And then my second question, a follow up to that would be, um, when we reference other passages um, throughout your sermon, we don't stand up for those. I was just wondering, what's the purpose behind that? Now, you know, there is a tremendous echo in here, Dan, and I could only hear about every other word. He, I mean, not you guys, but I hear it. So say it again, Justin, say it again. Skyler's question was, why do we stand for the reading of God's word in the beginning? Why do we stand? Good. And then with that, when we reference other passages later on, why don't we stand for the reading of those passages? Oh, why not stand? Okay. Um, later. <laughs> Boy. Okay. I would love to have you stand. I happen to stand the whole time. Uh, so uh, the first one is, if you want to go to Ezra, I want to show you something. That uh, the book of Ezra, um, the, the idea of standing for the scripture was uh, when, when Ezra began his ministry. Do you remember Ezra, the book of Ezra, chapter 7? Um, just, just for you to understand what he was doing. In verse 10, uh, it says, Ezra prepared his heart to seek the law of the Lord, to do it, to teach statutes and ordinances. So Ezra the, became the father of the scribes, got into the teaching of the word of God. Then, if you go to the next book, Nehemiah, you'll see him when he was teaching the word of God. Look at Nehemiah. You're in Ezra. Go over to Nehemiah chapter 8. Now this man, Ezra, Boy, and it's hard not to explain him because most people, you don't know how important he is. Just that you're holding this thing and, and, and reading it is, is greatly uh, because a product of his life. But look what he did in Nehemiah chapter 8. This man who prepared himself to, to explain the law, it says uh, in verse 3, he read from it in the open square that was in front of the water gate from morning till midday to the men and women, those who could understand, and then look at verse 5. And Ezra opened the book in the sight of all the people, for he was standing above all the people. And when he opened it up, what does it say? And that began, that began, uh, Ezra 8, 5, a practice in the church over the centuries that out of respect for the reading of the Word of God. Because, see, this was the group of people that didn't know the Bible. They couldn't even read it because it was written in by Moses in Hebrew that was tremendously influenced by the 400-year captivity in Egypt. And Hebrew had begun to be unreadable to them because just like language changes, the, the actual cursive block letter form they couldn't read and then what David wrote after Moses in the Phoenician times by the time this group of, of captives remember um, Moses is around the 15th century BC David is around the 1000 the uh, 1000 years BC the 10th century BC so 15th and 10th Ezra is here 500 BC by 500 BC, 1,000-year-old Hebrew, Jews couldn't read. So Ezra devoted his life, the first verse I showed you in, in Ezra 7.10, uh, he devoted his life to copying it over. And when he got this whole book, the people couldn't believe that they could hear God speak. And they voluntarily just responded and stood up. And so that concept of standing uh, goes back to the, the response that God's people had when they got the Bible that they could read. So that's number one, Skylar. Number two, why you don't stand the whole time is because I think it would wear people out. Plus, I watch you guys. You know, people get all settled and they get their Bible open and they get their paper ready and they get their pen ready and they dig through their purses and find, you know, whatever they're doing. Can you imagine if every time we got a verse they stood back up? I mean, stuff would fall to the ground, purses would be overturned. You know what I mean? And so it's, it's not practical to stand every time you read the Bible, but for the passage, um, Paul said this, and I mean, I could go on and I could talk on anything for a long time, but Paul says, give attention to the public. In, in 1 Timothy, he told Timothy 
the rules. They're called the pastoral epistle. He says, give attention to the public reading of Scripture. And in the public reading of Scripture, people stood because what they were doing is, it, it's just like in Proverbs, it says you stand before someone that, that is aged, that you respect. I mean, did your mother ever tell you that when an old person, you know, comes by, you stand up. You don't talk to him sitting down, chewing your gum, looking up at him, saying, mm -hmm. you stand up and you go, hello, you know, Mr. Whoever. And, and you respect them. So people from uh, what Solomon said in Proverbs about standing before the those that are aged that you uh, respect and because they were so excited to hear for the first time those people were hearing God they just stood in just just unbelievably kind of like as a group and that began that tradition in the church 